Simplifying a product of radical expressions, we can either multiply these expressions first and then simplify them, or simplify and then multiply, but it's usually best to simplify if you can in the beginning to keep things from getting larger whenever we multiply. So this first expression, I'm going to rewrite that as 15, which I can't simplify. W to the third, though, I can write that as W2 times W. And then the V to the six, as long as we have an even exponent, then we're going to be able to simplify it. And I'm just going to bring down the second one because the five, I'm not going to be able to simplify. The W8 is even and the V6 is even. So now I can bring out the W2 as just a W. I can bring out the V6 as a V3. And the rule is that we have to divide the power by two. And that leaves me with a 15 and a W underneath the radical. In the next expression, I can bring out the W8 as a W4 and I can bring out the V6 as a V3, again by dividing their powers by 2, and the 5 has to stay underneath the radical. So now if I'm multiplying, I can see that I've got a W and a W4 outside of the radical. I can multiply those and get W5. I've got a V3 and a V3 outside the radical. I can multiply those and get V6. And then underneath the radical, when I multiply it's still underneath the radical, 15 times 5 is 75. And the W is still underneath the radical. So. I've simplified and I've multiplied, but I want to check one more time to see if I can simplify that radical any further. And in this case, I can because the 75 I can rewrite as 25 times 3. And I'm just going to bring everything else down. W5, V6, and now in the last simplification, I can pull out the 25 as a 5. The W5 is already on the outside. The V6 is already on the outside. And then underneath the radical, we still have a 3 and a W. So we've multiplied and we've pulled out as much as we can from underneath the radical to simplify.